Hello Scorpio, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. How are you Scorpio? We're at the midweek. I hope it's going well for you. Thank you for clicking here. If uh, that was uh, you that came in through the side door over the last uh, week or so, please make yourself known in the comments. I love to know when you're new and uh, love to uh, connect with you in the comments. I don't even care if it's your real name. I just want to know that you're there. Just exchange some sort of energy with me and that's what makes these readings interesting. Thank you for doing that. And thank, all, thank you for all the ways you love me, those of you who always click here over and over again. Thank you so much for being in the comments and the thumbs up, the way you love me. Thank you so much. All right, Scorpio, let's get our connection in place here. A Pisces moon, I'm clocking you. <laughs> here we go, Scorpio. <laughs> Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter. This is for the week ahead for Scorpio, please. If you're a cross watcher, thank you for watching. We have the first card, which is Overcoming Obstacles. So something in the week ahead, it says getting back on your feet, getting strength uh, from difficult situations. So you're overcoming something. Um, and that might, if you're in the midst of overcoming something, and some of us don't even realize we are, but if you are the one who is aware that you are in the midst of overcoming something, I think that in the week, of the he in the week ahead is when you get your rest. Be open to change. It says, be receptive to new experiences. Change leads to growth. There is no other way forward. Change is progress, and we must progress. And if we don't, we just stop, right? Our life stops when we stop progressing. We have divine counterpart. Divine connection uh, sent to you from your angels. So something's being orchestrated here. Okay, there we go. Twin Flame is on the table. Spiritual connection between you and your Twin Flame. So uh, I, it feels like with a divine counterpart, it just feels like a really deep connection to me. Now, you know, if, if this person did, did in fact wake you up, then maybe it is a flame connection. Um, if you feel that this person is the one that spiritually woke you, or you woke the other person, we're talking about a twin. You'll know who you are. We've got apology. Forgiveness through mutual understandings. All right. So it looks like in the in the very near future, there's some sort of an apology. That's either you'll be receiving or giving, one of the two. Um, so I think that this week ahead for you, uh, Scorpio, is all about overcoming some obstacles that you've been trying to overcome for a while, I think. I know it's hard, but there's the C word. Be open to change. <laughs> We are fixed signs, aren't we? Yeah, Scorpio, I am a, I am a Taurus sun. And we don't really make decisions quickly and when forced to do so, it doesn't work out good for the other person, right? So you do have a divine connection here, some sort of deep soul connector for some of you twin. Tell me more about Scorpio. For the week ahead, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right. So we've got the Two of Swords. You had to make a decision, and I believe that was the biggest obstacle that you're overcoming right now. You have to make a decision about something, but that's going to require that there be some change in your life, Scorpio. Possibly why you haven't made the decision uh, before now. Uh, it has something to do with divine strength. It has something to do with realization. The, the strength card is courage. It's having the courage to really look within and look at who you are, right? The strength to, um, to build the inner lion but still uh, remain in control of it. It's also, the strength card is, is courageous, but, you know, that's Leo in a... In a short, in a short sentence, courageous. <laughs> yeah, very brave, very courageous out there. I don't care if you see me. I'm going to let the freak flag fly. And I love that about Leo. I love it. I adore it, in fact. And then we have the two of wands. Okay. So there is a... Um, there is a feeling here that there has been 
um, distance between two people because the two of wands shows up which tells me that as it hangs under the divine counterpart in the twin flame it feels like you're at a crossroads here and you know it that there is some sort of decision that you have to make that you have to make in a courageous way why courageous because it's going to create a lot of change and if it creates the change understand you are the creator of it right it feels like it feels like the wheel of fortune is what it feels like it feels like it's really good change but you know to someone who likes to move slow and be strategic and plan things someone who is very you know has that kind of awareness isn't isn't going to be happy with things moving quick we've got the emperor is that you the emperor is uh, all the kings as well and the emperor is also an energy right it's an energy of taking charge and i think that um you know that that in the week ahead you are you are corralling <laughs> corralling this uh this fire energy or the courage that you have and you want to speak with the queen possibly bottom of the deck we have the king of pentacles why because of the high priestess okay the nine of swords is here So you already feel this. It's like you, you already feel this. You can't, um, you're having a hard time sleeping at night. Um, it feels like you're very connected to someone here. They could be uh, someone who is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, possibly. We have the devil. So it really is some sort of intense way that you feel connected to someone else, almost in... Um, an obsessive sort of way it's like obsessive thinking but i think it's like two people obsessively thinking about each other you, you got to know if you're a twin that you know whatever's happening with you is happening with them it's in the future okay so the decision that needs to be made here um there is something that is hiding i'm going to ask about that uh there's something that's hiding here we got five and two swords right which is seven so there is something that's being overcome here that you haven't shared with anyone you haven't said a word to anyone that you've been you've been going through something or coming to this place of uh realizing that you need to make a decision about something the five swords gives me intense though it's going to cause some sort of intense conversation if you make this decision and that's why you're not saying anything right now the seven of swords Hmm. the emperor i think is the one that needs the courage and so um the emperor i feel is is trying to be courageous wants to be seen now you could be the emperor the emperor is the the energy of all of the kings the one who's in charge of the empire so if you are the emperor you are someone who probably owns a business or a corporation or you're someone who is in charge of everything taking care of everything you might be a single parent you know what i mean doing everything for uh for uh smaller people and uh i feel like they're that the emperor who i think is your energy because the king of cups is uh scorpio and king of cups is part of the emperor um that you're the one that is going to have to be open for change and it's hard for you i think because you're a fixed sign it's hard for you to be open for it feels like what feels like really big change right it feels like um yeah it feels like really big change i'm looking at leo and of course charlie's showing me the sun card and then i'm seeing this energy behind her here at the two of wands so i feel like the the em if the emperor is you you're the one that's going to have to make a decision and be open open to changing your mind about something i think because we've got a lot of swords here and that's going to be the hardest thing because you are like i said a fixed sign and, and it's hard to change your mind once you make a decision not many people can change the mind of a scorpio or a fixed sign at all and um because we've thought about it for so long right yeah i think we are talking about love here there is a deep love here and it feels like the two of wands is saying that look you're at the crossroads of your life right now scorpio you need to make a decision and decide what you're going to do i feel as though you're going to know i don't think you should force it i think you're going to know um the strength card is here you're going to know when you're feeling courageous you know what some days we're more courageous than we are in others right i know it is true for me some days i can you know i can do the world domination thing on my own and other days i'm like Oof, this is a hard gig <laughs> 
Yeah. So I, I feel like that you now feel or know that you do have this divine counterpart. Doesn't matter what the label is, y'all. Doesn't matter if it's a twin. Doesn't matter if it's a soulmate. What matters is happiness and that you're at the level you're supposed to be right now, learning the things that you're supposed to be learning. And uh, really, that's all it is, is this levels of wisdom. Okay, so there's something hiding here that you're not telling anybody. You're overcoming some sort of an obstacle. You're gaining strength after a situation here, but it's left you kind of open. Um, maybe you're be, uh, overcoming the obstacle of change. Like it's hard for you to change or be open to it. The high priestess, I feel like you've got, you've, you've got a connection with your gut, of course. It's likely that most of you do and you don't realize that you do. The High Priestess is Pisces. So, the Five of Swords and the Two of Swords and the Seven of Swords is, I'm not telling anyone, but there's something in my gut that I know. I don't think you're acknowledging it just yet, though. The Two of Swords is here. So, it's like your gut is telling you, Scorpio, that this is going down. Your gut is telling you that something is coming, you feel something in the distance that's rumbling, and you know it's for you, and I don't think you're worried about it. But I do think it's concerning because maybe it's closer than you thought it was. I know I'm seeing tumbleweeds coming at us right now in my head. That's what Charlie's showing me. So I feel like something's coming at you, and you know that it's on the way. And I think that the realization of maybe it's not exactly in the week ahead is that all of this tarot stuff and this energetic connection hooey <laughs> that I think that you've realized that there's some there's some depth to it it feels like you're you're learning to to be open to change like changing your mind not only about love but about things and life in general you're seeing things differently which tells me that that your third eye is open and that you are aware so I, I feel like your gut has been telling you that it's time and um, I feel like the obstacle has been time, time in your head. It feels like you've been sort of um, hanging within the self. It's been hard for you to make this decision to be open to change, but I think it's here. So I want to say that um, if it hasn't happened already, that you're going to get some sort of a clarity, I think. Um, clarity that's going to make you feel balanced and that's how you're going to know it's go time. <laughs> and I say go time because there's an apology here which means with the reciprocity of energy here I think there's going to be some sort of a meeting or something that's going to transpire from all of this. Um, there's balance here, right? T temper Temperance comes in to, you know, hold you up strong and, and, and uh, allow you the time to have the inner reflection of strength because it almost feels like the big game day like it's it's like you're you're trying to prepare yourself to to put the work in here you're at the crossroads and i do believe that i do believe that you have you want to work on reciprocity with this queen the queen of cups is here Scorpio Pisces Cancer. The Queen of Cups, of course, uh, is probably, it feels feminine leaning, so it's masculine or feminine energy, but uh, predominantly feminine energy here. We've got the Queen of Cups looking at the Emperor. She's looking for her King of Cups, which is, well, I mentioned the King of Cups earlier, right? So the Emperor is, is the King of Cups all of that king energy. So I do believe that um, you're at the crossroads here. I feel like you you know that if you acknowledge this this stuff, <laughs> this this are this uh, this stuff like tarot and the esoterics and the energy stuff if you if you really acknowledge it and you decide that it's true, you know that there's nothing else that you can do but change. And you have to be open to that. Now, there is something here that I feel is gnawing at your gut. It's going to give you balance should you decide to move forward. I feel that you do. I feel like you take charge and you're trying to find the courage to work on something. And I think it's with this queen here. I feel like there's going to be reciprocity with this queen. You want to give the reciprocity to the queen. But I feel as though the six of pentacles is telling me that you're not sure if this person, the queen, is... Um, 
is in a thing or not, right? Because the six of pentacles can also be energy of I'm giving more to one than I am to the others. So I think you want to know if somebody here is is interested in, in working on this. It's like you've had a realization here that and you're late to the party. I think that the queen already knows that this is divine, divinely guided. It's a divine you're a divine counterpart or a twin. I think your person already knows that, and I think you're late to the party. So I think this is there's going to probably have to be conversation, right? So tell me about the strength card. And um, uh, first of all, we'll ask what the challenge is for the week ahead. Hang on. What's the challenge for the week ahead? I feel like you need to know that. <laughs> challenge for the week ahead. There we go. It is. <laughs> it's conversation. Somebody has to open up conversation. And that's what that is. The Ace of Swords. Can we have a conversation? I need some clarity. I need some truth and honesty in the situation. So I think that you are seeking some truth and honesty. And I was feeling like it was building up to something. And it feels like it's building up to conversation in the week ahead. I think you're about to reach out to someone and share whatever this Seven of Swords is. Let's look at that. What is this Seven of Swords, please? What is the, uh, the obstacle that uh, Scorpio is overcoming currently? Trying to drop some, some burdens from the past. I think you've been carrying a lot of things with you and that are weighing you down. And I think that you don't talk about those things. So an obstacle you could be overcoming is trying to get a hold of your vulnerability. And it, it is a very vulnerable thing to decide that you're going to release or drop things and no longer carry them with you. It's hard for change. It's hard. It's hard to change your mind. And I think this is all about that. We've got the Ace of Cups. You're over, overcoming the obstacle that love is a burden. That Open, that relationships are a burden that opening a new path to love will be a burden I think this is the way that you feel but I don't think that you talk about it yeah you need to take action here that's exactly why the king of wands shows up right also part of the emperor energy the king of wands is the one that takes action and goes with goes with their heart and their passion so I, I feel like you are someone who lives in swords, who keeps things quiet. Maybe you're not a person who shares things with other people. Um, I feel like you always go with your gut, or even if you don't know that you are, you are. Uh, I feel like what is changing here is your mind. I think that you're overcoming the King of Wands, which tells me that probably you've you've had a lot of hardship in the past. Uh, the King of Wands is, is sitting on the throne because of that. Do you know what I mean? Because of, it's like, in spite of it all, the, the this person has has become a king. And has learned to call their passions, has learned to, you know, not be quite as impulsive as the knights. Um, you know, this one's grown up a little bit. So I feel what you're overcoming is, is impulsivity. I feel like you're, you're overcoming moving too quickly. Um, or the fact that that is an obstacle, that maybe you're, maybe sometimes you take too long to make a decision. It all depends on your gut, though. Tell me about this twin and the divine counterpart, please. Got the six of wands and the moon. So I feel like um, the six of wands, I feel like you want, you want victory with this now that you've had this realization. I feel like you've had some sort of a, a level up, I want to say. I don't think you're an emperor for a very long time if you are. Um, you could be new at it, but it does, it does feel like, it does feel like you've come from a place that wasn't pleasant because the six of wands shows up to say that there's victory after the fight or after the war, right? And you made it through. The moon energy is here with the queen of cups. And so I feel like, um, you're not used to getting victory in love. It's like I can't see the way to do it. I don't know. The moon energy is here. A lot of things are as they don't as as a lot of things seem as they as they really are not right now. 
um, I think that maybe your gut is telling you that this is a conversation that needs to be had because the Queen of Cups is here twice. I really do feel like you're dealing with someone who's got water energy and um, I feel like this this is the connection that you have with that person because as the Emperor, if that is you, you also have King of Cups energy. So that's psychic connection, right? Pisces and Scorpio. And I was just saying that at the beginning of the read, right? It's a it's a really connected energy, I find. So I think that in the future here, you're, you're going in with an apology for some of you. And um, either they're going to give you the apology or you're going to get the apology. But there is going to be a celebration. So either way, whoever... I think we the part of the burdens you may need to drop is like whoever did wrong did wrong. You know what? Let's just celebrate it. This life is short. We're only here for a blip, right? Let's get to it. The chariot's here. Let's show our emotions. Let's get to the victory. Let's get some balance. Let's move forward here. And this new opportunity is coming up. You know, I think that's um I think that pretty much sums it up here for you. That there's going to be a lot of action in the week ahead should you decide to reach out to somebody to make conversation here. And um, I think that you will because the Eight of Pentacles tells me that you're willing to work on it with the Queen. You're at the crossroads. What do you got to lose? For reals. What do you got to lose? Right? All right. I'm going to go for now. Thank you, Scorpio, for watching. I do appreciate you. I will be here. I will be back again. I always come back. <laughs> I love you guys. See you later. Bye-bye.